On behalf of Exchange for Media, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you for taking out your very precious time and joining us here today this evening. We hope that you will find this program that we have lined up for you to be very fruitful and engaging. The Exchange for Media group was set up in the year 2000 with the aim of publishing niche, relevant and quality publications for the marketing, advertising and media professionals. Today, Exchange for Media is a one-stop information platform for the entire industry news, views, analytical information, in-depth analysis of events, and trend forecasting. Exchange for Media publications have a credible and loyal following. Presently, the group has five titles in its portfolio, namely exchangeformedia.com, Pitch, Impact, Realty Plus, and samacharformedia.com. The theme for today's conference is building a brand that drives passion. Building brand advocacy is what marketers desire. The key, however, is in finding and nurturing customers that are so passionate about your brand that they become your brand's strongest and most vocal advocates. The Pitch Top 50 Brands 2018 has brought together brand custodians who will share the scope and discuss the challenges in creating brand advocacy. Before moving forward, we would like to thank our partners without whom no event like this is possible. The 8th edition of Exchange for Media Pitch Top 50 Brands 2018 is presented by Ant TV, co-powered by Matru, Matru Bhumi, the national daily in Malayalam, also co-powered by Z Hindustan, co-gold partner Nickelodeon, knowledge partner Lakshay Media Group, India's largest integrated media and communication company, co-partner Business Television India, India's premier English business news channel, co-partner Pitara TV, world's first Punjabi movie satellite channel for global audience, Co-partner and badge partner, Dainik Savera Times, Andhere Se Ujale Ki Or. Luxury partner, Da Milano. Validation partner, Kantar IMRB. Knowledge research partner, Deco Research and Analytics. Registration and digital partner, Smart Events. Live webcast partner, 24 Digital Frames. Can we please have the partners, A.B.? Every second Malayali reads the Madhubhumi. Madhubhumi, the national daily in Malayali. Yatra magazine in Malayalam. Madhubhumi Yatra, the complete travel magazine. Madhubhumi Aarogya Masika has twice as many readers as its closest competitor. Madhubhumi Aarogya Masika, the number one health magazine in India. Ye rasta koi aam rasta nahi hai. Yahan didi rehti hai. ये फैक्ट्री कोई आम फैक्ट्री नहीं यहां झारखंड का फ्यूचर सीएम काम करता था इस मंदिर में सुनाई देने वाली ध्वनि उत्तर प्रदेश की राजनीति का सुर बन गई पटियाला के इस महल ने देश को दिया 1965 के युद्ध का सिपाही और जनता को एक सीएम नालंदा में कुर्मी परिवार की ये किलकारी एक दिन बन गई बिहार में विकास की आवाज देश के हर रास्ते में हर फैक्ट्री में हर महल और झोपड़ी में हर मंदिर और मस्जिद में हर राज्य में बसता है हिंदुस्तान कोलकाता की सक्री गलियों से दिल्ली में राजनीति के गलियारों तक ममता बैनर्जी ने लिखे संघर्ष की नई कहानी और बन गई राज्य की पहली महिला मुख्यमंत्री 
धोती कपड़ा मकान ए है हिंदुस्तान एक स्टील फैक्ट्री में मजदूरी करने वाले रघुवर दास ने बदल दी झारखंड की राजनीति और अब है मुख्यमंत्री महल का आराम छोड़कर कैप्टन अमरिंदर ने युद्ध के मैदान में दाव पर लगा दी जान और दूसरी बार पंजाब में लौटे बनकर जनता के सीए बिहार में आंदोलनों का हिस्सा रहे नीतीश कुमार अब चला रहे हैं विकास का आंदोलन हिमालय की गोद में पला एक बालक अब है यूपी का योगी सीए उत्तर प्रदेश की 22 करोड़ जनता का अभिनंदन करता हूँ हर राज्य में है हिंदुस्तान की कहानी हर दिल में है हिंदुस्तान जी हिंदुस्तान through ideas it's about the people who have the ability to make the right calls money makers who influence the markets that's why when we bring you the news it's all about helping you spot the winners it's about enhancing your wealth and becoming financially secure it's not about us but it is all about you we don't judge for you We help you walk the right path. We help you stay relevant to avoid the pitfalls. We are the people who give you ideas. We are Business Television India, India's premier English business news channel. Powered by sponsor Matra Bhumi, the national daily in Malayalam has shared mementos from God's own country, Kerala, which is also the sponsor's home state. Matra Bhumi, the national daily in Malayalam, congratulates every winning brand for striving hard and achieving everything they aimed for. The fun does not end here. Matra Bhumi, the national daily in Malayalam, is running an exciting contest. Hence, requests all the delegates to drop their business cards in the fish bowl, which is kept near the registration counter. The five lucky winners will win a fully sponsored package, which includes three days, two nights stay, tickets, and sightseeing in Kerala. The five winner names will be announced at the end of the event and will directly be coordinated by Matra Bhumi. Well, 
We request you to put your phones on silent mode, but at the same time, we would want you to keep tweeting about this evening using hashtag top 50 brands. Ladies and gentlemen, now moving forward and uh, starting this evening, may I call an entrepreneur, journalist, internet evangelist, and media expert all rolled up into one, Mr. Anurag Batra, Chairman, Editor-in-Chief of Exchange for Media and BW Business World. A very warm welcome to you, sir. Tejal, yeah, I know you from business. Thank you, Tejal. Uh, good afternoon. It's my honor and privilege to be here. This is the eighth edition of the Pitch Top 50 Awards uh, and a conference that kind of sets the tone agenda and uh, contextualizes the achievements of the winners. Uh, the Pitch Top 50 Awards is uh, going to happen in the evening, but just to tell you that these are the most honest awards. Uh, we at Exchange for Media are only custodians of the process. Every year I say this, but I tell you how many people call me for awards, including investors in my other company, Business World, and I tell them I can't do much. You know, you can put in an entry, I can put in a word, and you know, that word is just to my team to say, put up the entry. So these are very honest. And I think with the number of awards happening here, there, everywhere, I think there is an award happening every 10 seconds, okay? I'm exaggerating the point, but these are very honest. Uh, they're done by a jury, which is very accomplished. Uh, you'll see a jury AV. So I just want to emphasize on that point because the only differentiator between our awards, apart from everything else, is they're done through a process and they're absolutely credible. You cannot buy an award. It doesn't matter you're our sponsor, you're our advertiser, friend, brother, nephew, niece, it doesn't really matter. And I think I want to drive that point because I see lots of my CMO friends going for awards that I think are not credible and it's okay. We should celebrate every achievement. Uh, now coming to marketing, uh, I don't want to talk, there are CMOs, marketers, brand managers, my colleagues from Exchange for Media, industry colleagues. I can tell you that, you know, marketing as a function is changing dramatically and I want to talk about five things that I experienced. I'm not talking from theory. One is, and everybody will tell you, the four P's of marketing are dead. I would say the only thing that matters is the experience. Today, whether you do an event, whether you create a, you know, test drive for a vehicle, the experience matters. Whether you read a, a media product, everything is experience. We are moving to a experiential economy faster than we ever did. Second is authenticity. You know, really in a marketplace where the brands are trying to be something, um, authenticity matters, what brands say, what they do, how they behave, the people associated with the brand. And I keep asking this question that, you know, now it's almost, almost two years, not two years, since Donald Trump won. In eight, on 8th November, it'll be two years, uh, and that'll also be two years of demonetization. Uh, I keep asking this question, why do you think Donald Trump won? Why did he win? Or why will he win the second term? That's scary, but he may win. Any answers? Huh? Yeah, he was authentic, but my nutritional therapist, whose advice I don't follow these days, Rachna tells me that uh, your brain makes the wrong choices if you eat junk food. The Americans have been eating junk food for 60 years, that's how Donald Trump won, but that's on a jocular vein, but on a very serious uh, note, he won because he, he said, this is who I am, take it or leave it. He was very authentic. He appealed to a certain TG, uh, and that has worked for him. Since he come to power, he's appealed to the TG even more, you know, with stickiness. He's gone and implemented what he said, right, wrong. So he's, he may come across somebody who's impulsive, who's running a country and the world through Twitter, but actually there is a pattern and that is, you know, he's appealing to a certain TG that works for him. He's being authentic to that TG. So really, even if you're a small, young brand, but if you are very authentic, you can be an upstart brand that can take off and you can really unseat established brand. Third, you know, this, the, and I want to show you a video here. How many of you watch movies? Right? Most of you, right? So how many of you have seen the Oceans 11, Ocean 13, all those, right? How many of you have seen Oceans 8? 
Okay, like four of you, right? So uh, this is Ocean Day. Let's see the uh, trailer. If you have no, I am not getting any money from the promo. Nor is my company getting any. I wish. Can we run the promo, Sonia? Even if it doesn't run, I'll move forward. Basically, you know what? Good afternoon, Miss Ocean. As you know, parole is a privilege. It's a mistake, uh, but it, it happened. And um, if I were to be released, I would. Um, <clears throat> I would just want the simple life. I just want to hold down a job, make some friends. You know, pay my bills. Even if this was possible, it need 20 people. Seven people. Why do you need to do this? Because it's what I'm good at. So, Ocean's Eight is all women. You know, the, the stereotypes that were true three years, five years, ten years are no longer true. There are new, <coughs> new role models, new, I won't use the stereotypes, but the world is a different place. There is a new normal in everything. And movies are a great uh, way to look at what's happening in the world. You know, again, I don't want to talk about inclusion or, you know, diversity. But the point I'm trying to make through that is that what we thought was true two years, one year back is no longer true. There may be new ideas, uh, new platforms, new brands that may come to the fore and really create a new reality that brands have to embrace. Fourth point, and again, as an entrepreneur, I'm talking. Today, small is again beautiful. We talk of scale. We talk of, you know, a certain momentum. And you have the Facebook, Googles, or they have a certain scale. But today, for the first time, again, in many years, small is beautiful. You can be one-to-one. -one. I mean, since the time I graduated from a business school, we've been talking of, you know, one-to-one -one marketing and, you know, being direct with your consumer. Today, you can be a very super niche brand and have a very small audience, but be very profitable and very relevant. And that is more true because today, consumers don't really miss brands. If a brand goes away, consumers don't necessarily because the many brands waiting to take its space. But if you are a very super niche brand, maybe the chances of consumer missing you are much more. And I can give you examples from very lots of categories. My last point, and again, I've reinforced it every time I've been at an exchange for media event or a business world event. And in some way, we follow that, I follow that. I believe CMOs, marketers, brand managers, brand owners can learn from people outside marketing. For example, we can learn from authors. An author who sells 5 million copies, 10 million copies, he or she does know something about audiences. One can learn from movie makers. Somebody who makes a movie and the movie goes on to do 50 crores, 100 crores, 70 crores, whatever. Commercial success apart connects with people. People talk about the movie. Uh, people go and see the movie. And again, I believe today we have to learn from people who are not in our domain. You know, I'm not even talking about how the role of a CMO is becoming the role of a CTO, CIO. You have to look at data more than you ever did before. You still have to take gut calls. You still have to make decisions. But today you have data. And data may or may not support a point of view. So really, it's a new world. I also know that most of our, my marketeer friends, their budgets are shrinking. So using technology, they want more bang for the buck. Uh, I also want to say that, you know, the more digital media spreads, and it is spreading, there's no question, the traditional media is becoming more and more important. Uh, you know, 20 years back, people said TV has come, has become mainstream, and radio will die. Radio hasn't died. So I want to say this, you know, we in the magazine business, in the newspaper business, in the traditional media business, have a role to play that no new media can play because we have more credibility. We have advertising to lose if, if we take sides. Whereas, you know, new digital media may or may not have that uh, credibility or viewership to lose or revenue to lose. So I want to say that I genuinely believe like the more we become digital, the more the value of face-to-face -face <coughs> interaction. 
I'd like to meet somebody over coffee. I mean, I can Skype with any, over an interview, but eventually if I'm doing a senior hire, I'd like to do two, three meetings with a person. Maybe I don't hire people just because I did a Skype call and I like them on the Skype call. No. So the value of physical contact or face-to-face -face contact will grow. Otherwise, there wouldn't be more events. You could do virtual events. Why are you guys here? We are live streaming the event. You should have watched the event on live streaming. The fact is, I just want to say the value of anything that is old world. We know that in clothes, retro comes back. In music, retro comes back. And I'm saying uh, we, are, we will see that in media also. We've already seen that in digital media, how chatbots are wasting advertising monies. Right? And I can give you data after data. So really, there is a new normal world. I also want to use this opportunity to say that tomorrow in Bombay, we'll unveil the 14th edition of the Business World Marketing White Book. As I said, uh, tomorrow at the Marketing White Book, the theme is MLIT, which is Marketing, Leadership, Inclusion, and Technology. So we have Shabana Azmi talking about what marketers should do. We have lots of filmmakers. We have CMOs and MDs of companies. Of course, they're very welcome. But uh, similarly, in Delhi, we have it on the 27th at the Crown Plaza. So the theme of the 14th uh, Business World Marketing White Book is Leadership, Inclusion, and Technology. Women are playing more and more role in every decision. And women are more independent. I don't know. I mean, we know that. So I just want to say there is a new normal world. What was true may not be true in the future. And it's changing every two months, three months. The cycles are not even one year. Technologies are tools, tools. Always better tools will come, but at the end of the day, marketing will remain an art, and that's why the CMOs have a role to play. Thank you. God bless you.